The NBA has had a lot of stars throughout its long history. But which ones have truly risen above the rest to become the stars among the stars? Trophies. The NBA has a lot of them. From championships and MVPs to even smaller awards like the 6th man of the year. It's a huge honor to win any of these awards in a league full of the best players in the world and is a sign of accomplishment. But the greatest players aren't content with winning just a couple of awards. Quite frankly, they possess a sh ton of them. While accolades aren't a be all end all for distinguishing who is a better or even greater player, they do provide a pretty good indication of where you stand among your peers. And in today's video, we'll be talking about the most accomplished players in NBA history. But before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. So, how exactly are we going to be deciding who the most accomplished players are? Well, I've developed a point system for that. This criteria takes into account all of the major accolades a player can win and assigns a point value for them based on how much value I believe the award holds. For example, the regular season MVP is the peak of individual accomplishment. For this reason, it has a maximum value of 10 points. Meanwhile, a singular all-star appearance, while still a commendable feat, is much more common and frequent, thus it has a lower point value of 2. Using this criteria, there are 7 players in the NBA history that stand above the rest and will outline them each individually. Firstly, we start off with the legendary Bill Russell, who comes out with a grand total of 259 points. The biggest chunk of his points comes from his insane 5 MVPs and legendary record 11 NBA championships. Putting it all in one place, it becomes clear how stacked his resume is. But the crazy thing is, he realistically should have much more points and rank much higher on this list than he does right now. When he was playing, the finals MVP award did not exist. And given that he won 11 championships as the leader of the Celtics dynasty and that the award is literally named after him, it's fair to assume he would have won a very large number of them throughout his career. Additionally, defensive stats, defensive teams, and the Defensive Player of the Year award did not exist during his time either. And given that he's widely considered the greatest defender of all time, he definitely would have had a large number of defensive accolades to his name. So, although he isn't quite in the elitist tier as things currently stand with the point system right now, it's insane to think about how he'll still end up in the upper echelon, a legend in every sense of the word. Now moving on to the next level of our list, we have the Black Mamba Kobe Bryant with a total of 290 points. Despite the way some people try to discredit his career, his accolades can't be denied. Despite a lack of MVPs compared to the others on the list, his resume is quite well rounded with 5 championships. The bulk of his points come from his longevity with his record all-star appearances and impressive number of all NBA and all defensive teams. Next up, with nearly the exact same amount of points as Kobe, we have the other dominant figure of the 2000s and a great whose name is often brought up alongside the Mamba, and Tim Duncan with 296 points. One of the most underrated players of all time, he has one of the greatest resumes in NBA history with a list of accolades that needs to be mentioned more. Similar to Kobe, Tim's accomplishments are fairly well rounded with 5 championships, 3 finals MVPs, and 2 regular season MVPs. But his primary source of points comes from his longevity with 15 All NBA teams, 15 All Star appearances, and an insane record 15 All Defensive teams. For the next tier of players, we go back to the past and take a look at the staggering resume of the Big Dipper, Wilt Chamberlain, with his 317 points. Although he may not have had as much championship success or longevity as the others mentioned, he more than makes up for it in all other aspects of his career. With an impressive 4 MVPs, most of his points come from his well-known statistical dominance. 
everyone knows about his untouchable statistical records and his accolades reflect that very well with an insane 7 scoring titles, an unfathomable 11 rebounding titles, and an assist title thrown in just cause he could. Now we move on to the only active player on this list and one that will most likely continue to keep racking up the points. We have the King, LeBron James. LeBron has got this many points by combining a GOAT level of longevity, encompassing an insane record, 18 All-NBA teams, and 18 All-Star appearances with an extremely well-rounded resume. The King has done it all at a very high level, with 4 regular season MVPs, 4 championships, and 4 finals MVPs, along with 6 All-Defensive teams, and a scoring title and assist title thrown in there to show he can rack up the stats as well. It seems impossible to surpass the list of accolades LeBron has put together, but there are two players that can make later that claim. And with that, we start the next tier of our list with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who's achieved an unfathomable 369 points. Reading off his list of accolades is exhausting, with 6 regular season MVPs, 6 championships, 2 finals MVPs, 15 All-NBA teams, 11 All-Defensive teams, 2 scoring titles, 1 rebounding title, 4 blocks titles, and a record 19 All-Star appearances. Kareem has literally done it all and surely has created a resume that can't be surpassed. But as you may have noticed, there is one pretty notable player that hasn't made an appearance yet. Sitting in a tier all by himself with over 65 points more than second place, we have the GOAT, Michael Jordan, with an incomprehensible 434 points. He's done this by combining an unprecedented amount of awards with an unprecedented amount of statistical dominance, winning 5 regular season MVPs, 6 championships, and a record 6 finals MVPs, 11 All-NBA teams, 9 all-defensive teams, and a record 10 scoring titles, 3 steals titles, and 14 all-star appearances. As you might have noticed was a theme throughout the video, a lot of players racked up a large amount of points from their longevity as a result of making more all-NBA teams, all-stars, etc. The crazy thing about Jordan is, while he had a good amount of longevity, he still only played 14 years and achieved all of this. His resume is already untouchable. Just imagining what it'd be like if he laced up a few more years is hard to wrap your mind around. To show you just how insane MJ's list of accolades are, the two other best players of his era are widely considered Magic Johnson and Larry Bird, fellow top 10 players of all time in their own right. Combined, those two have 425 total points, which is still less than Jordan alone at his 434 points. Throughout this video, we've looked at the elite of the elite, those rare superstars that have achieved the pinnacle of the sport and have accomplished more than everyone else in NBA history. But even amongst the elitist of the elite, one man rises solidly above the rest and his name is Michael Jeffrey Jordan, the most accomplished player in NBA history.